hey girl or boy or whatever you class of life so welcome back to my channel so I, I might be a little like low right now like my voice because it is kind of late but um i had to come on here to talk about something that has happened recently it's probably gonna be a little mini rap probably not i don't know what it's gonna be but i just feel like i need to speak on this because Recently, Donald Trump has said some very derogatory comments about Haiti, um, Africa, and El, Sal El Salvador. I think I got that right. And he called those places um, very, um, he called them ship hole places. That's what he basically said in a very harsh and offensive way. And it just show how ignorant he can be and he lacked uh, a huge amount of respect to these people who live there um he tried to back it up and say sorry but well actually he didn't even say sorry he said that he didn't say these things when it has been like you actually recorded of you saying these things like what do you mean it say it and he's saying he's saying that it's fake news and stuff like that but it's not the first time he said something so, like, stupid. And um, I just feel like I got to talk about it. Uh, because he is the president, and people look, do look up to him. And um, people voted for him to be the president. And when he say these type of things, people will, pe without people knowing what's actually going on, people will feel the need to, like, talk to people. Uh, mostly, particularly African Americans, or not, not to say African American, no. Um, like, for example, Haitians or Africans, they will, they'll feel the need to like talk to them in a very, in any way they want to, because of how he said what he said. Now, I'm not saying what he said what isn't true, but how he said it was very unnecessary. Unnecessary. He speaks like he's like a four, four year old. A fourth grade year old. <laughs> That's like no, like how he speaks is just so. I don't think he thinks before he speaks, and he should actually take practice in doing that because the things that come out of his mouth is just so shocking. Um, it is crazy. So I'm Haitian. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, this matte lipstick is so fucking dry. But yeah, I'm Haitian. I'm Haitian, and my parents are from there. So you know, of course, I'm gonna feel some type of way of what he said, because he's so ignorant. And I just feel like you never. He. I don't think he ever been to that place. I don't think he has. Probably he has, but I don't know. I don't think so. Um, hold on. So, um, as a Haitian, Haitian myself, I feel like I need to speak on it. Now you're probably don't care about this but you have no idea what's going on you probably don't care but like i feel like you should still watch it to see where i'm coming from and if something else were to happen similar to it you'll have a better understanding and then you know you wouldn't have to think like how he does because people are very influenced by him lots of people are influenced by him i don't know how but um what he says impacts a lot of people because um People call him a genius, and people call him genius because he say things that people are scared to say. And I do understand that. Um, I do understand that. So in some way, I kind of respect it. In some way, I kind of don't because he just says whatever, and it just it's just like, <laughs> what? No. So, um, sorry. I just feel like I need. I'm just thinking where I need to touch. So he called Haiti a shithole place because of. A pop because of their poverty <laughs> guys if I'm if I miss say words some words I'll just put them around the screen but he said things he said that Haiti is a shithole place because of because of how the poverty like how it looks and stuff like that everything and you have to think about how did Haiti become poor you know, Haiti wasn't just always poor, and the reason why I'm only, the reason why I'm always only thinking talking about Haiti is because you know, as I was saying, I am a Haitian person. Um, it's not that I don't care about 
him talking about Africa and El Salvador. It's just that I know more things about Haiti than those places, unfortunately. But I'll get to knowing them, so don't worry about it. But yeah, uh, he said that he said what he said, and he has a reason why he said it. Um, but it's a stupid reason because he does not know. I feel like he doesn't know the history of Haiti enough for him to just say whatever he wants. Like, does that make sense? All right, so. Yeah, the question here is that how did Haiti become poor? Haiti didn't just become poor because it was just poor. Like it wasn't, it was never poor from the beginning. The Europeans came, the French Europeans came and literally took over the island and they didn't take over it, but like they made promises with the Haitians there. Um, they, there was slave, there were slave lab, laborers there, and they would steal. Actually, they didn't steal. Um, they would. Hold on. <laughs> I wrote these down. I wrote my notes down. I'm just always thinking. So, hold on. Here, I'm just going to read, like, a fact from my phone because I don't want to say things or it doesn't come out right in my head. So, economists estimate that in 1750s, Haiti provided us provide as much as 50% of the gross national product of France. The French imported sugar, coffee, cocoa, tobacco, content, and other exotic products. Incredible fortunes were made from this tiny colony in on the island of his from Ayo, which is like an old term, like old saying of Haiti, basically. So, um, yeah, like, there's so many things that happen to Haiti where the Europeans would, like, take their stuff and they would make promises with them and the things never happened and which resulted Haiti becoming very poor and <clears throat> the history of that, you know, is what the consequences are today. Um, but honestly, Haiti is not, yes, Haiti does have, you know, it's moments like, not moments, like it is, it is not a very pleasant place. It's not the best place, but honestly, um, it's not what everybody the media says it to be like honestly if you think about it and go there it's it's a beautiful place the europeans did ruin it for them um they made promises with them where the promises were never really happened like just they just made they just put haiti in a position where they can't really get out of it and if he's gonna have all this negativity to just talk shit about Haiti and stuff, he should start um, helping. It's like, don't just say stuff and not try to help. You know, um, I feel like it's not, I don't think it's just America too. The Haitians, I feel like Haitians are not, you know, being pro, um, pro proactive enough to start something. I wanna start something, but what can I do? Like, I mean, yeah, that's a very, broad question because you know there's probably many things I can do but I really don't know because <laughs> I don't but the I do still have hope for the island like I feel like there's so many things positive things that can happen to it but people are just talking they just want to talk shit and they don't know their facts they don't know anything about it and they just say whatever that comes into their mind and they just think that it's it there's so many um, scenarios that has caused Haiti to be where it is right now. For example, the French debt, um, the post World World Two United States domination, and the French colonial um, contribution. And these are just events of in the history where that caused Haiti to be where it is right now. Um, I would go further explaining what those events are but that would be so long of video and it's already 10 minutes so yeah um i just i just feel so disgusting feel so like i feel saddened by what he said i understand what he's saying is true but i wish he could think about what he had think about what he wants to say in a more sensitive way and don't disrespect haiti in in such a disregarding way um, because Haiti does have its perks and it's it's a beautiful place to live in. It's a beautiful place 
like there's beautiful girls there's beautiful guys bel fun bel tica so bel manger game much oh my god like the food there the culture is just so vibrant it's so colorful like i can't even believe like he would just say come on just come in here just because he has the platform he has and just say whatever he wants to say with his mouth like no nigga <laughs> but yeah um it's just so crazy because i wish people would take time to learn about the history and <clears throat> just know their stuff before they just come out and just say things and then you know come together and unite and like think of some way to try to change it trying to change the <sighs> the looks of it and like make it better you know it is crazy so yeah and don't try to blame the earthquake because every time I talk about Haiti, everybody just always thinks about her earthquake. Like, I hate that shit. Okay, I hate it. I hate it. Like, there's so many other things that you can know about Haiti. Like, I blame the Europeans. So I'm kidding. <laughs> but, yeah. That's my thoughts of it. I might be wrong. Don't come for me. Actually, if you want to come for me, go ahead because I will literally shut you down. Cause I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I say it in a way where it's for people to everybody understand, but just you gotta know your stuff. So, um, but yeah, he is the president of the United States, and I believe that he should set an example for everyone else. Cause you know, for example, if he continues that way, people are gonna feel they're gonna feel superior to everyone, <clears throat> especially white people they're gonna feel superior to people to talk to people um other races any way they want to especially black people and it's like no okay your skin is not it's nowhere near better than anyone's everybody's the same thing okay we're all humans here okay let's just respect one another and learn how to speak to each other in a very comfortable way without putting people down like just because you are poor you're not less of a human none of that like that's just bullshit <clears throat> like put that energy into helping people don't just say stuff if you're gonna talk talk about something make a plan a then go to plan b don't make a, a plan a and then go straight to plan d then forget about it and then what happens haiti's still in, su in the suffer mode and then there's nothing Nobody talks about it ever again. Just like the Siri, the thing that's happening in Syria right now. Like, do you think that problem just disappeared? No. Like, just because everybody stopped talking about it doesn't mean it's not happening right now. And I feel like it's not getting as much um, exposure as the stupid post of this little boy who's wearing a fucking sweater that says coolest boy in the month, coolest thing in the month. Like, I don't know, like. People just focus on the dumbest stuff. It's like, really, really? I just feel so disappointed at this point. Um, I know I, I'm, t like, people are going to say, like, like, oh, you know, you, you know, you don't need to put your mind into this. Like, you got so many things to worry about. Like, but this is my, like, this is my background. This is where my parents from. So, I feel like, I feel so, like, disrespectful, like, don't disrespect my flag. Like, don't disrespect that. Okay? Um. Anyways. I just. Let me just get some drink. Let me get something to drink. Like, there's so many <clears throat> countries that are considered shitholes or dumps. And, like, we do have power to help these shithole places. Uh. Yeah. Um, I know that he wasn't really talking about that. I know he was talking about some some shit about immigrants coming from there. He doesn't want people coming from the United States. <clears throat> coming to America, he he would rather want no people from Norway. Hold on, let me. That wasn't my focus of this um, rant I was gonna do. I'm just, what he said is so fucking stupid. Like, who the hell is gonna be? Norway has way better condition than USA does. And it's sad to say, because I'm American. Like, American like me is saying this shit. Norway, people, people in Norway have way better conditions than people here. And <laughs> I'm not even living in the USA. In the United States, so who the fuck is going to come here? 
Like, if they come here, they're basically <laughs> saying that they don't like themselves. They want to die. They, no one's going to come here. So, he's basically disguising, what he's saying is disguising his, like, his, um, his racistness. It's not, <laughs> it's not even a word. His hate he has for black people. I know that's not true, but I'm just saying how I see it. Like, I know for a fact that this guy does not like black people. He does not like black people. He does not like who else he, he does not like Mexicans. He does not I don't know who else he doesn't like, but I'm pretty sure that these are the two top um groups of people that he does not want. Like he wants them out and he will get whatever he his way to get them out and it's not gonna happen. So Mr. Donald Trump, these are word these are my words for you. Get your education, okay? Get your facts right before you speak, okay? Okay? Then come for Haiti. Then come from Africa. Then come for El, Sal El Salvador, all right? Because these countries are not shitholes. Yes, they, you know, they have their problems, but who made them have their problems? I'm not blaming you, but I could be blaming your ancestors. So fix it. Fix it. Now, I'm not just saying only the Europeans, but everyone else needs to stop, you know, be on their phones on the internet with the, you know, think they all big and bold on behind the screens and get to doing something. Okay, don't just sit down and just do nothing. Now, I know you're probably be like, God, you ain't going to do shit either, but I just... I'm I'm not gonna stop this. Like I actually want to do something, so I'm gonna like go searching and do some. Like I'm being dead ass. And if if I if you don't hear me talking about it no more, then it's probably because I don't have a way. But this video is about to be 20 minutes long, and I don't want it to be that long. I've been making so much long videos, and it's just so bad. So I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna even edit this video because Donald Trump does not deserve my editing skills on this little rat thing. So um but yeah next week we got the challenge my sister so watch out guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let me I just I love this wine guys. This wine is so good. <clears throat> Thank God for wine.